Hello guys, today I'm going to do an unboxing video of the Lenovo K10 Note mobile phone. So, I'll open it. Okay, we have pin here for SIM card, some instructions and guides probably. Okay, and here is the phone itself. Oh, it's pretty much big. It's a 6.3 inch display with no bezel, should be. Uh, let's just quickly have a look inside the box what else we've got. Uh, USB-C charger. So, okay, it looks like a quick charger. It supports uh, 15 or 18 watts uh, charging. And, uh, actually, that's it. Phone looks nice. Feels like just right in the palm. Uh, we've got the back, three camera lenses, main lens has 60 megapixels, of course, fingerprint sensor, at the bottom, uh, the jack, still have jack, which is really good, I think. Uh, USB C port, speaker uh, on the right side, okay, volume buttons and uh, on off button. Left side there is a combined port for the just open it for the either two SIM cards or one SIM card and one uh, micro SD memory. The only thing I don't like actually, as you can see, that the camera sensors are way too much out of the body of the phone body. As you can see. I think it's kind of too much. Well, let me put the phone on the table so you can hear. Let's just start it. So basically, a few information about the phone. Uh, exactly this model has 6 gigabytes uh, of RAM and uh, 128 gigabytes internal memory. There is also another version with 4 GB RAM and uh, 64 GB memory. So it has a Qualcomm uh, Snapdragon 710 uh, octa-core processor and the Wi-Fi 5 AC, Bluetooth 5, USB OT, GFM radio, GPS and Dolby Atmos for the speaker and headphones, which is really good. And it comes with uh, Android 9 Pie. That's the first setup. So language. Okay, I'm not gonna put a SIM card inside yet. I'll just quickly go through the ordinary Android uh, first startup processes. Can add a fingerprint, I'll skip that also. Right, we have the home screen. Here, just slide up. We see the pre installed applications, quite a lot of them. Got some games also I see, Asphalt, some puzzle, sync applications. It's a bit better than a few of the phones, which gives you a lot of applications you actually don't need at all. This is not that bad. Got also Opera, uh, web browser, which is good. Okay, as for the camera, you get a triple sensor uh, setup, so actually uh, primary sensor has 60 megapixel with 1.8 aperture and another 8 megapixel telephoto camera with 2 times optical zoom and 2.4 aperture and another 5 megapixel depth camera and uh, also the main sensor has PDAF so focusing is really fast uh, also selfie camera at the front another 60 megapixels but sadly you cannot change uh, the photo quality or resolutions only aspect ratio although we can of course uh, change video resolution so we can 
should make videos of HD, Full HD or 4K. Battery offers 4050 mAh so you can actually get one and a half day of the normal phone use. Unlocking phone with the fingerprint, it's quite fast so no problems there. So my verdict, uh, actually for the price you pay for this phone, you get a really lot because the specifications, camera, uh, the size display, uh, quality, that's really good. For the price you pay for that phone is really good and only one thing I don't like, uh, the fingerprints, you can't see it on the camera but that phone really, really likes the fingerprints on it. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.